Sometimes we need to have a Python program wait before it moves on. We might need to wait for another function to finish running, for a file to finish uploading, or we might simply want to change the user experience by having our program pause at a certain key point. So for example, here I have some code that performs a simple countdown. If I run this code in my terminal, we can see that what it's doing is iterating through this while loop and printing out the numbers from 10 down to one. But this is not quite how I want this program to work. Python's simply printing out these numbers as fast as it possibly can. And what I want instead is to have it actually do a countdown where it pauses briefly after printing each number. To accomplish this, we can use the time.sleep function. And the syntax for this function is very simple. We write the name of the function, sleep, followed by parentheses, which is how we call the function. Calling a function just means we're telling Python to go out to this other block of code named sleep and run that code. Then inside the parentheses, we need to pass the sleep function an argument, which is simply the number of seconds that we want the program to wait. I'll put in one because I want it to wait for one second before moving on and running the next line of code and printing out the next number. Now, the reason this says time.sleep is because this function comes from the time module that's available in the Python standard library. So to get this to work, the other thing that we need to do is come up here to the top of the code and add an import statement, import time, which will make that code available to our program. Now, if we save this and run the code again, we can see that it now pauses for one second after printing each number. And one of the cool things about time.sleep is that under the surface, the operating system temporarily suspends the execution of your program so that your computer's processor is freed up for other work while your Python program is asleep. In other words, programs that are waiting on sleep timers don't actively use your system's resources.